Recently sat down for our first chat with the Polish striker who scored the game-winning header in Timbers' last time out against Miami. Walko will swing this in. It's knocked out and bounces in. It's a goal. It's Nias Gouda. Nine for 11. Last November, you undergo the surgeries. We're coming up on a year, and there were some tough days with so much going on in the world. What was it for you that kept the positive mindset through all of that? Uh, first, first, like, I remember my first day, first two days was really, really difficult, yeah. Uh, I was crying, yeah, because it's normal, I think, for players. I remember uh, Eric after uh, against Seattle, he was crying too. It's, it's normal, I think, for players. That's the concerning moment now, is it's Yaroslav Nizgoda being stretched off the field at Providence Park. Uh, but after two, three days, I just agree. It's, I, I cannot change, yeah, I need to just uh, be ready for surgery and after just, just work again and to be, to be ready as soon as possible. And, but uh, what, you know, what positive was that my, my, my wife was, uh, was uh, pregnant and uh, we were expected a uh, daughter. Yeah. She's already here. Yeah, so your daughter Sophia arrived in March. How has she helped kind of ground you as a person? You're a dad now. Yeah. That's a whole different responsibility than before. Yeah, no, it's a great feeling, yeah. Uh, I think it's a great feeling for, for everyone. Everyone wait for, for, for this uh, moment, uh, beautiful moment for, for both of us. Talk us a little bit about uh, growing up in Poland, what that was like for you and kind of help that shape you as the man you are today. I grew up in a small city. Uh, like small city when I uh, was 13. Uh, I, I left my, my house, yeah. I didn't left, like, uh, I come for weekends, yeah. It's a Sunday, Saturday, sometimes. But, but I left when I was 13. And I just played in bigger city, yes, next, next to uh, my small, small to village, yeah. Like village, yeah. it was like 50, 50 kilometers uh, next to my my village uh, and I growing up there yeah like I spent there eight eight years yeah. and later I just moved, moved to Warsaw to capital of Poland. So you leave home at the age of 13 that's tough for any parents to lose their kid uh, to go chase a dream how did they help you and say go for it Yaro? I remember that it was a difficult moment to decide if, if they were if, if you wanna and decide for this for me, yeah, but we decided it's good for me, good chance for me to, to move uh, there and start uh, play better, better, uh, better team, better city, better club, yeah. Uh, and it, it was a good, good decision, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm happy for that. Uh, you know, it <laughs> maybe easier for parents because I'm sick. Like, I, I have five. Uh, okay. Yeah. Three three brothers and two. Okay, just one. <laughs> No, no different. Yeah, we have still five. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's gonna be difficult, more difficult if I have only one. Yeah. Uh -huh. That has to really kind of fast forward the growing up and maturity process. Yeah. So how did that help you as a 13-year-old boy turning into a man? Uh, it helped a lot. Yeah. It's like good for me. Yeah. To to grow up uh, without maybe like not all all time like without parents. Yeah. To to learn uh, uh, learn life. Yeah. Like teach life. Uh, there it was good, good experience. So now it was one kid. Can you imagine having six? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Now I can.